So you all might be wondering about, well, who is going to pay for all this? Um, typically with your power chair and the features such as the tilt, recline, power legs, and the base, um, that is typically covered by most insurances uh, as long as you meet the qualifications. Um, process typically involves an initial visit with your physician for what we call a face-to-face -face evaluation for power mobility. In that uh, doctor's visit, you will be answering several questions from the physician. The physician will be documenting your need for power mobility, uh, particularly for in-the-home use only. Um, that's typically the, uh, the criteria for Medicare. Um, most of the features, if properly documented and meet the qualifications, will be approved. Medicare covers at 80%. Um, and then there will be a 20% if you have a secondary insurance. It may or may not cover that. Typically it does. Um, otherwise, with no secondary insurance, you might be looking at a copay and or uh, coinsurance situation for that remaining 20%. Um, the power elevating seat uh, or eye level in this case is a Medicare non-funded item. They do not consider it medically necessary, although I think we could all make a case that it is. Uh, certain other private payers, folk rehab, um, different uh, funding sources will cover the power elevating seat as long as it is documented. And typically what they're looking for is what can you do with the power elevating seat versus what can't be done at wheelchair seat height. And that's your transfers, your cooking, uh, your hygiene related activities. All of those are reasons um, for a power elevating seat to be justified through your insurance. Again, not Medicare at this point. Um, we touched a little bit on transportation of the chair. We pointed out the transit hooks. Uh, lifts, ramps, and converted vans, all those are not covered by your insurances at this point in Medicare. So those would be uh, something to talk to with your provider, uh, your DME um, provider, to talk about, hey, you know, what would be the costs on this. Um, with the ramps, you can check with your local ALS uh, association chapter. They typically will have some ramps to allow you to get in and out of the house and possibly transport the chair there.